Hello friends, welcome back to my channel, myself Chira. In this video, I am going to discuss about how to solve AES inverse shift rows. Explain with example, topic of network security. Let's check the rules of inverse shift rows in AES. For example, this is my state array. I have to perform inverse shift rows on this state array. Rule number one is row one, there is no shifting. So it means row one is as it is. The next rule is row two, one byte circular right shift. So let's check here. Next rule is row number three, perform two byte circular right shift. Let's check here. Next rule is row number four, perform three byte circular right shift. So let's check here. So these are the rules of inverse shifting rows in AES. Now let's take one example and perform inverse shift rows on this state array. As per the rules, the first row is performed no shifting. So it means the first row is as it is. Next rule is row 2 performs one byte circular right shift. So let's start with the first value of the row 6e. It performs one byte circular right shift and moves to the second position of the row. Then next value is 4c. It again performs the circular right shift and moves to the third position of the row. Next value is 90. It performs the one byte circular right shift and moves to the last position of the row. And the last value is EC. It performs one byte circular right shift and moves to the first position of the row. Next rule is row 3 perform two byte circular right shift. Let's start with the first value 46. It performs two byte circular right shift and moves to the third position of the row. Next value is E7. It performs two byte circular right shift and moves to the last position of the row. Next value is 4A. It performs two byte circular right shift and moves to the first position of the row. And the last value is C3. It performs two byte circular right shift and it moves to the second position of the row. Next rule is row 4 performs three byte circular right shift. Let's start with the first value A6. It performs three byte circular right shift and it moves to the last position of the row. Next value is 8C. It performs three byte circular right shift and it moves to the first position of the row. Next value is D8. It performs three byte circular right shift and moves to the second position of the row. And the last value is 95. It performs three byte circular right shift and it moves to the third position of the row. This is all about AS inverse shift rows. If you have any query, you can join my telegram group Chirak Balodi. Link is given in description. Follow my blog chirakbalodia.com. All the video materials are available on my blog. If you like this video, please hit the like button and share with others. Don't forget to subscribe my channel. Follow me on social media. All the links are given in description. Thank you for watching this video.